Hey everybody, welcome back to That's Dangerous and Reckless. We're gonna yeah, cool. we're gonna go ahead and trudge through the sewer where it's hard to see enemies, it's dimly lit, and uh, we have to also protect it's somebody at the same time. A well -lit sewer. So this this is not dangerous or reckless. This is smart and uh, safe right here doing this. Smart and safe. Yeah. It's too dark to see. I like how it's like, oh, that's dangerous and reckless, and yet she didn't get injured, and yet when we go through, we get hit. You know. Damn you, cat, for running in. You know, you could have came in during the break. Go to your mother. She's in the back room playing Japanese RPGs like a good wife. Go. Like a good wife. Yeah. Oh, man. Did you do anything for Memorial Day? Um, shit, that was Monday, right? Um, so let's read this letter first. It's a fax. It's a fax. On the first and third one is the oh, month. I use fax all the and time. Fucking Angelica <laughs> Margaret, chief of maintenance, will make use of the facilities. Be sure to reduce the moisture <laughs> levels in the facility by activating the fan as the equipment. She will be using is susceptible to the effects of water vapors. On the 28th of every month, the chemical transporter Don Weller will use the facility. The chemicals he will be transporting are extremely volatile. Extreme caution should be observed throughout their trans transport. On the 6th and 16th of every month, Police Chief Brian Irons, Jeremy Irons, will visit the <laughs> that scar. We'll visit the facility to attend the regular meetings that take place in the lab. On the fourth Friday of every other month, William Bergen will use the facility to Jeez. conduct a training seminar for the Chicago branch of Umbrella Inc. Pretty sure that's a run-on sentence. As the probability of an attack upon Dr. Bergen will be high, take every measure conceivable to guard his life. He will be informed of all other potential visitors and the times they will arrive as needed. Guide these individuals to their destination <laughs> safely. We expect nothing but the best from you. Charles Coleman, Security Chief of Umbrella Headquarters. How is fucking... How do we... I know it's a fax, but like... What? Why would Umbrella Corporation be sending anything to this place? This is where their experiments are done. Huh? So what the fuck was the point with the mansion then? In the first we game. We burned that down. We blew that up. <laughs> so they just, they were like, oh, so shit, somebody destroyed now a priceless multi-million dollar mansion, so now we have to go and do our research now in a police station? experiments here, under the police station. That's why they helped pay him off. So they could use it and do stuff. He's on the fucking payroll. <laughs> well, he is. He's on the motherfucking, on the motherfucking payroll. So, okay, so what happened Memorial Day? Um. Nothing. I feel like something, but nothing, like, crazy. Like, nothing amazing. Suck huh. I don't know, man. I, you, you, for whatever reason, my mind is just drawing a complete, like, poof, like... I thought you had to spend time with your stupid, stupid, weird family. <laughs> Yeah, and I don't think we did. I played life and risk with my family. Life and risk, huh? Life and risk. <laughs> kind of, it's like I played life and risk. And then got some cake. Some I, ri cakes. I, I risked some life by eating cake here. That was a good time. I kept gambling in life. I was an accountant. I was stealing people's money anyway. <laughs> that's what accountants do. Damn it, I don't need all of this help, I just need one thing. I feel like I hear a distant harmonica. A distant harmonica? That can't be what's in the soundtrack of a Japanese game, I don't even know what a fucking harmonica is. That's American. Oh, fuck! Ada, what did I just say? Heads up. Over. 
Leon. That woman was. I have oh. to talk. <laughs> Thanks for taking a bullet for me. I need to go talk to her. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave you for dead. She knows he's alive. She's gotta go stop her. Jesus Christ. What? I think it felt funny that, like. That what? Hey, no, watch out! He jumps in front of her, takes a bullet. She's like, Leon. It's not like Leon. Buddy, are you okay? Don't worry. You're gonna make it. It's. I know that woman. I gotta knows. go. If you would click on him again, and you would see it's just a flesh wound, and he's just unconscious. <laughs> she knows he's. Her boyfriend's a fucking doctor. All right. Fucking cockroaches or spiders or evil things. I don't know. Hard to tell. Uh, she's been trained not to feel emotion. Okay. Is she the bitch from Code Veronica? No. That's Claire. Oh. In this game, Claire. Don't move. You're the one who was with that cop, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. Identify yourself. Ada? Ada Wong. Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John, I believe. Oh, they're not even fucking married. How did you know? Just... Who Girlfriend? are you? She says that's just her boyfriend. Annette Burpin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Burpin. What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take the T-Virus away from you. G-Virus? It's capable of creating the ultimate <laughs> what? weapon. It's the I won't let anybody take the secret formula. My, I, don't, I don't want anybody to take then my secret, secret uh, Krabby Patty formula. Krabby Patty formula? Ah, so let me explain exactly what the secret is. You didn't know what it was, and you're not interested in it, but let me and tell you what it is, so you can be interested in it. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. That's a cliche, like, villain move to do. Yeah, well then why do movies and stuff keep doing it? <laughs> huh? I Honestly, I'd love to know. Can't we just get one movie where they're like, like, they, they find something, they're like, what's this? You know, where the villain's like, oh, you know what, just, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna walk away and wait for the villain to die from this convoluted trap. I'm gonna wait and make sure he dies. <laughs> Goldfinger was gonna kill James Bond. He wasn't gonna tell him his plan. Sean Connery's hooked up to a laser. Sean Connery's like, do you expect me to talk? He's like, no, I expect you to die. He was just gonna walk away. You finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Bars Sorry. But I won't just hand over my life's work. That's William Birkin. You might hit the sample. That did all right. Okay, let's move out. William. Oh, my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. He's like, bitch. Come back. It's up. Dick! <laughs> okay, they just shot him in the Yeah. Could have been a lot worse. Are you telling me that he injected the G-Virus into his own body? Was he patient zero? The G-Virus has the ability to revitalize someone. Well, yeah, because this is how it, uh, the outbreak broke out again. The months went by without nothing. Mm. Over there. We killed everything else. And then he shot himself up with some G virus.
So those rats were the carriers of the virus. As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. Even worse, every G-virus bioweapon including William's the ability to implant embryos it sounds like she's talking to herself, like she's offering. having trouble with that game. No. Could be. Well, that game's difficult. She bitch slapped her right over there. Did she just fucking Joker fall into a vat of fucking chemicals? I think it's just water. <laughs> just water. Next time. Next time? No, it's the cat. Cat's driving her nuts. Alright, we'll see you guys next time.